Well, one of the recent uh, trials at the Sustainable House is an aquaponics system. And um, the aquaponics system was put in uh, about three months ago. And these beds, which I'll have a shot in the video very shortly, but you can see these beds here have done really, really well. Um, previously, we had just a few seedlings. You could you just see all the, all the um, gravel and very little of the um, plants. But then you can see the silver beets coming along like a house on fire. The kale's doing quite nicely. I'm picking leaves of kale and some, some of the spinach floating around. Um, the cabbages are really doing very, very well. And the peas are doing great. I mean, you see the, the amount of flowers and stuff on those peas. They're really growing like wildfire. So this is the um, traditional aquaponic system with the gravel grow beds. We have the fish tank here and we're actually rebuilding the fish tanks. We'll be moving that down onto this area here, um, which I'll come back and cover another time. But what I have started doing is a new trial and that is a very large raft tank. And this is the raft tank or deep water culture here. So what happens with this bed is that the water comes up from the fish tank or from the sump through this pipe here. Um, it comes into this barrel which gurgles every now and again and basically the water comes into the top of the barrel and flows down through gravel and then in through a manifold at the base coming back up and then out and down through here. What this is doing is this is filtering out the worst of the solids um, before the water goes into uh, the deep water culture. So as you can see the deep water culture here I've, I've um, put pots in the front half of it yet. I will still put pots at the back but they will actually be of a different pattern uh, to allow for um, some trellising and growing some larger larger plants. But at the front here we have uh, three rows and I think each row has about 18 pots in it so um, oh, sorry about 20 pots in it sorry so, um, so there's about 60 holes here and the plants in here lettuce should grow out in about Lettuce and leafy greens should grow out in about four to six weeks. So ideally this means I'll be planting ten of these pots every week to get this nice rotational cycle. But anyway, this is week one. Um, I've literally just planted these these pots today. So you can see what I've done. I've gone down to the nursery and I've bought some seedlings and I've planted some rocket and some lettuce seedlings. And I've done the same at this end. Now the reason I've split the ends is that this bed isn't finished yet. Obviously I need to um, finish the timber on the top, which I'll do in the next week or two. Um, and the other thing I need to do is put some um, air stones in here to provide aeration inside the bed. At the moment I don't have that, so what I've done is I've split my plants up between this end of the bed, which as you can see where the water comes in, um, gets some aeration from the bubbling of the water, from the siphon being broken constantly from this filter, and the far end of the bed which doesn't get any, so it would be interesting to see how the two uh, lots of plants compare over the coming weeks if they do well at all. So as you can see the way this works is we have a, a little net pots that actually sit in the water and we've got about a, a one inch piece of styrofoam that's actually floating on the surface so our net pots fall in there like that. So what we've done is we've planted as I said we've planted the rocket and the lettuce as a trial. I've also trialling direct planting so these other pots, these other 12 pots that have um, a perlite and vermiculite mix in them they have um, been planted with some seeds. So I've planted some basil, some chives, uh, some rocket and some lettuce, uh, three of each in this area and they're directly being planted in there. So I'll be interested to see how they grow and whether or not you could actually run this bed um, instead of running it with seedlings, running it as a direct plant bed which means you'll probably only get maybe eight plants a week in to get a rotation to allow a couple of weeks for the, for the seeds to come along but it's all in the one bed, it's all easy care. So the things that I need to do to finish this, apart from coming back once a week and updating you with how these plants are coming along and how the bed um, finishes, uh, comes along, I also need to put on the timber on the, on, on the top here to trim off the excess plastic and put on the timber. Along the bottom, um, or just along there, I'm actually, I've got some on order and it's coming very shortly, some copper tape which will go all the way around the bed and that will actually prevent um, snails and slugs finding their way up onto the bed so hopefully um, the copper tape will come before the snails and slugs find there are actually plants up here and then the other thing I need to do is put in the the um, the aeration so the air stones throughout here but that's tied up with this other bed the concept other fish tank sorry the concept being is that when I do the other put the other fish tank in I will upgrade the aeration over there for the fish and I'll use the um, current aeration I'm using there in this bed. So I'll, I'll do all that 
sometime in the next month, give or take. So, but look, honestly, we'll come back um, this next week and we'll see how these plants have come along, if they have at all. Um, my only concern with this bed is I did run a, a very simple trial of this just before winter, and it worked beautifully. But I used two-inch um, styrofoam there, which allowed a little bit uh, greater depth between the water surface and the top of the pot. And um, in this case, to save money, I've gone to one inch. And my concern is that um, it might be a little bit too too low in the water, but um, we'll soon find out. The only way to tell is to, is to test it. If they do work out, I mean, it's easy enough to swap, buy a new panel, two-inch panel, pull it out, put the holes in, drop the pots in, and bang them away. So. You know, I do have the wastage of the styrofoam, which is, well, I might be able to find another use for it. I might be able to use it as um, insulation somewhere, but you get the idea. So, you know, let's see how we go, and I'll come back in a week, and we'll revisit that and see how this bed's coming along.